Hey Reagan, Miss Beth here. I wanted to show you something we used to do at school. Um, it was called labeling, and it was a way to help kids start to write words on their own without asking people how to spell them. So you'll sound out your words. So I just wanted to show you a simple picture. So when you would label, you would draw a line from something, and then on the line, you would sound out whatever that thing is. So this is a sun. So you would stretch out the word sun and you would write the sounds down on the line when you hear them. So and then you would look sun. Those are all the sounds that I hear. Now, sometimes you won't hear all the sounds that are there, but with this kind of writing, you don't have to worry about spelling things right. This is called just using the sounds, or we would sometimes call it invented spelling. It's kind of like you're making up your own for right now. So here's, I'm gonna draw that line kind of sideways for the clouds. So if I say cloud, when I stretch it out, k -k -k. now we know there's two things that make the it could be a K or a C. Maybe I'll put a K. Maybe that's not right, but it doesn't matter. It's just what I hear right now. So, cl ow. Now, maybe I don't know what spells ow. Um, or I can make a guess. I know, since I taught kindergarten, that O-U and O-W spell ow. So let's say I just guess I'm going to do O-W because I know that spells ow. Cloud, d, d, a D. Okay, so that is called invented spelling. Those are the sounds that I'm hearing that I'm writing down that I know. Now, here's how you really spell cloud. I just want to show you this. It is a C and then the uh, ow, in this case is the O-U cloud. But look, if I use my sounds, cloud, cloud, I can read this word even though it's not spelled correctly. And the important thing is when you're learning to write is that you write as quickly as you can and you get your ideas down on the paper. Um, what if here I wanted to say just water? Some kids might just go wa 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 ter this, oh, I forgot to put it on the line, sorry. This is how they would actually spell water. And you know what? When they were in kindergarten and first grade, this was perfect. I loved to see that. Because most people can say the sound whooped or what, oh, that spells water. Um, down here, maybe you would know sand. Oh, I hear the little word and. I know how to spell and, and is a n d now maybe you wanted to call it beach b b b beach now some people might put two e's in here like the bumblebee some people might only put one it just depends on how many um rules that you know for phonics so let's say that i just know it sounds like an e B ch ch and I know C H says ch. So this might be how I spell beach right now. That's not going to be how I spell it forever, but it's just how I'm spelling it right now. And it will help make me a faster writer. So I think if you um, be brave and find some pictures that you can label and sound out your own words, okay?